Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the concept of friendship. Or not really talk about the concept so much as just thank a number of friends in my life. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had to make a little list here uh, of the people I'm going to talk to uh, or talk about. And here's the deal. I know when you do these kinds of lists, it's kind of like the Oscars. You, you're inevitably going to miss somebody. You want to thank everybody who's had a deep meaning in your life, but you can't. You, you're, you don't have a t enough time. The band starts playing, all that kind of stuff. And while I don't have a band that's going to start playing, although there is music playing in the background right now, um, I just know that I will have forgotten someone somewhere. So, uh, if I mention you, that doesn't make you more important than anyone else. If I don't mention you, it doesn't mean you're less important than the people who got mentioned. So, um, sorry in advance for anybody who feels slighted. I did not mean to slight anyone. Uh, all of you mean something to me. Uh, but I want to just talk about some people right now who, uh, I guess, popped into mine and I guess made the list. Uh, I want to start off talking about my, uh, my buddy Craig. Uh, Craig, you've been a a great friend to me. You have opened not just uh, not just your home to me, but your life to me. I have enjoyed being able to work in ministry with you and be close to your family. Uh, you know, I mean, we've obviously kind of had to grow apart as you've gotten a little busier and as I went off to college and you know things like that. But your friendship has been meaningful to me uh, all these years later. I think we met in. 1997, not long after you got married. So um, it's been really cool uh, seeing you be faithful to your wife. It's been really cool seeing you transition from being, you know, just husband and wife to new father to father of twins and and so on and so forth. It's been great to be um, kind of a peripheral part of Paradox to be part of initially launching it and then having to go off and coming back years later and seeing it. Uh, growing and being healthy and kind of going through growing pains and whatnot. So, um, just thank you for your friendship. Thank you for uh, opening your office to me late hours of the night for reinitiating our friendship when I really screwed things up years ago. Uh, that meant a lot to me. It continues to mean a lot to me. It, it continues to inform our friendship today. Um, so I just wanted to, to say thank you. Cliff Johnson you are my current pastor at Woodside, Detroit. I love you, bro. Uh, I have absolutely adored your ministry. I have adored your your vulnerability uh, from the pulpit. I have enjoyed the way that you love your wife. Watching you love your wife uh, and now love your kids has been an absolute an absolute inspiration for me. There are many things, as you know, that I have missed out on in my own daughter's life. Uh, so to watch you be a man of God to uh, your wife and to your kids means so much. And the fact that you are faithful to God's call, moving into the city of Detroit, inspiring me, obviously all the video diaries that are coming out about uh, my journey towards the city of Detroit myself, uh, partially inspired uh, by, by you, by your faithfulness. Obviously God's call is God's call in my life also, but um, your faithfulness has inspired uh, further obedience, I think. So thank you so much for your obedience to the call because it inspires my obedience to the call. Uh, Katie May, wow, we should not be friends. Uh, you should have walked away from me a long, long, long time ago. But you didn't. And you've continued to stay by my side when I was not good to you. And that means more to me than you will probably ever know. So I want to say, above all, I'm sorry. I am sorry for all the horrible, uh, the horrible miscarriages of friendship. I am sorry for uh, not being the friend to you that you've been to me. But I want you to know that I am thankful for your friendship and I will honor that friendship. I am honored to be able to stand by your side now and call you my best friend. Um, I know you're in a tough time right now, 
but I want you to know that I am here for you. I will continue to be here for you through thick and thin. You've been there for me through thick and thin. Uh, I will be there for you through thick and thin. No hesitation whatsoever. None. Um, just wanted you to know that. In case you were doubting, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Justin Imers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You've been there for me through thick and thin too. I feel like I'm saying this to all my friends, but man. Um, from late night conversations on your back porch while you drank scotch and, and smoked cigars. Um, to visiting me in the hospital and me saying, get me out of here. I mean, you have seen... Uh, my good sides and my bad sides. You have heard me dream about moving into the city of Detroit long before I knew it would be happening. Um, and you have seen me at my absolute worst, which I won't go into for everybody who's watching this video because there's some pretty embarrassing stuff uh, that you've seen. So, Justin, thank you so much. Thank you for inviting me into your home. Thank you for um, loving Lisa. Thank you for showing me what a young uh, quote unquote successful marriage can look like uh, you know often I push back on advice that you give me uh, but I'm always listening I want you to know that I am always 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 listening and probably respecting your advice and your counsel far more than you might think at the moment so I just want you to know that thank you for your friendship thank you for your counsel it means the world to me Kelly Ann uh, wow uh, I know we're in a tough spot right now but that does not negate the fact that we have been friends for a very long time. Uh, I've appreciated being able to just uh, do homework together, even though you were at Lincoln Christian University and I was at Rochester College. I could just, uh, you know, Skype you and put, you know, your little box up in the corner, and it felt like you were there. And just uh, laughing about goofy things together, and uh, thinking about, uh, you know, at one point uh, a future together. And I know that things have not worked out the way that um, the that we had wanted but I think that we're both following God's call and I admire you for following God's call for being open to what God has called you to and um, I'm glad that you respect that God has called me elsewhere uh, again tough time right now for us but I could not do a thank you video to my friends and talk about friendship without talking about you because without your friendship, I would not be who I am right now. Uh, I hope the same. Uh, you know, I hope the same is true for you. Um, and when our friendship, you know, kind of repairs the breach, uh, I'd like to talk about that more. So, uh, Tim Storm, wow, you called me out of the blue and said, "Hey, I was thinking about, you know, who in my life I would consider my best friend, and the only person I could think of was you." That call meant more to me and continues to mean more to me than you could ever imagine. I, I was not expecting it. I mean, who does that? Who calls someone and says, hey, I just want you to know, you know, I don't want anything, we don't need to hang out, I don't need anything from you, I just want you to know that I value you above all my other friendships. I mean, I mean that's what, you know, what a best friend is, I guess. So, thank you. Thank you for the years of friendship that you've given me. Thank you for being my folder partner in chorus. Thank you for singing into my ear because to this day I still can't read music. Uh, so that was how I learned my part. Thank you for being my packing partner on chorus tour. Uh, it was great uh, going on adventures with you. And I know at this point you're just getting back from Africa. I cannot wait to hear your stories of your adventures and misadventures in the country of Uganda. It's great to see you grow into the man that God wants you to be. And I continue to pray for a woman of God to come alongside you to kind of be, your, to, to not kind of be, but to be your helpmate. Uh, you deserve someone amazing. So thank you for your friendship. Praying for you continually, brother. Uh, Adrian Johnston, seven years and going strong. Uh, your friendship to me. Wow, it's hard to describe our friendship. We have a strange friendship. It's a friendship that I think, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, probably shouldn't have survived, but it has. It has survived many different iterations, uh, from you know, you know, closeness to you know, being a far away from each other. You know, because you know, we're in college together, and then we saw each other every day, and we're in an organization together, and that dissolved, and then you graduate and we didn't see each other as often but we've stayed in touch and then moving to Kalamazoo and me wanting to do that and 
man, it, our friendship has just been kind of through ups and downs, but you've been there uh, for me, giving me advice, giving me counsel, uh, just giving me laughter, giving me joy. Uh, and I just want you to know that, that that has not been lost on me. And I hope that I've been that for you too. I hope that I've given you something that is meaningful. I hope, I hope that you cherish our friendship because I cherish our friendship. Um, that sounded awkward, but anyway, our friendship is kind of awkward, isn't it? Um, Brian, Brian Podhast, where do I even begin? If it weren't for you, I would not have graduated from college. I'll, I'll begin there. Uh, people don't know that uh, you let me use your car for an entire semester. I moved off campus. I was expecting to buy a car. There was a financial snafu. Uh, and I remember saying to you in the cafeteria, if you don't see me after this weekend, it means I couldn't get to college. And so I had to drop out. And it's my final year of school. And you said to me, hey, uh, you can use my car for the semester. I live on campus. Uh, if I need to drive anywhere, I have friends who can take me there. Just borrow my car. And that was probably one of the greatest gifts I've ever been given in my life. As a matter of fact, it was so great that I think it has changed the way that I approach gift giving. I, before that, tended to be very, you know, much a hoarder. You know, I only have this much money, I can't help you, I need to hold this all to myself. But that example, that extreme example to me, has allowed me to realize that what I have here is not mine in the first place. It belongs to God. And so if he says to give it away, if he says to help other people, I am more apt to do that now because of your example. Thank you for that. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you um, for your generosity. Uh, your giving spirit is amazing. And also to see you just in ministry at Stony Creek Community Church out there in Washington Township. Just, uh, I mean, I haven't seen that ministry, but I see it on, on Facebook. Uh, just you loving kids and having been in ministry for uh, in youth ministry specifically I was in that for seven years I know how meaningful that is to young people so the fact that you're pouring into the lives of the next generation uh, that means a lot to them means a lot to me thank you for being faithful to what God has called you to do Dr. David Keller Rochester College you are my mentor I'll just very honest and you probably don't even know that that's the funny thing uh, I have tried to call you and just be around you and you know, go out to, to lunch with you and just kind of glean wisdom from you over the few years that I've known you and the funny thing is I remember when you first came to the college I got a D in your class and I was like who is this guy I can't I've never gotten a D in my life this guy sucks um, but over the years you know working in theater with you Greek class going out to lunch with you, driving across the state to Holland, Michigan to perform one of our plays, going to the Charles H. Wright Museum uh, to do uh, you know that same play, wanting to perform more with you in the future. Uh, yeah, I want to do all those things uh, with you, but let me tell you, uh, it's really just so that I could spend more time with you. So if we never did another play again, uh, if I could just spend time with you, five minutes, ten minutes here, uh, that means the world to me because I... I greatly respect you. I think that you're a man of God, and you are a man who's been following God for years. And there are not many people who finish well in this life. And I see you finishing well, and I want to finish well myself. So thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for your counsel. Thank you for your friendship. Emily Paulette, you probably don't know that I value our friendship as much as I do. I value you far more than you probably know. And it's not just because of your pretty face. And I know that's kind of been awkward between us for for <laughs> for a while. I can be kind of upfront, but uh, you you mean so much to me. Your friendship is great, and I hope that I hope that you've learned to trust me uh, as as I've learned to trust you. Uh, what you have to say, just any interaction with you, is great. Being able to go on a walk behind Rochester College, just down the the old trail back there. Uh, is meaningful to me to just hear you talk about uh, your heart for you know going to Africa and, and digging wells and, and working with uh, with nonprofit organizations NGOs I think uh, that is so cool to me or to hear you just kind of wrestling 
with those things and talking through what does it look like, what does your future look like, what does God call it? Is, he, is he calling you to grad school, is he calling you to stay here? Um, the fact that you have shared so much with me, and I hope me just sharing that right now uh, was not a violation of any of that trust, but uh, to, I, I'm just trying to say that I appreciate your friendship, I value your friendship, and I know uh, we're, we're in a weird place right now, a transition uh, place for both of us, I think, so hopefully we can get things back on track uh, sooner rather than later because I'm looking forward to, to that. Kate King, our friendship broke for a long time and it sucked. I, I just remember being your summer boyfriend because my girlfriend would go off and go home and we'd both be around for the summer and so we, I was your summer boyfriend and you were my summer girlfriend and there was never any of that weird strange sexual tension so it was great to just have you as my friend and so when I lost that for I think you know a year or two uh, that was rough and you know I had done something wrong and um, and I still uh, regret you know what happened there um, but thank you for allowing me back into your life I'm loving seeing you be happy right now absolutely loving it. Um, it it sucks that it took so much for you to to get to the happiness that you now have but I'm glad that I'm able to see it and be a part of it. So thank you for allowing me back into your life, allowing this friendship to blossom again. I'm enjoying seeing you smile. I'm enjoying getting to know uh, your new boyfriend. He seems like a really good guy. Uh, just very down to earth and just wow. Just wow. Seriously. Um, Melissa Willis, my fiction editor for the Christian Manifesto. You are Superwoman. Seriously. Uh, I love what you bring to the site. I love your organizational skills. I love the fact that you have built a great team around you, but that's not what I love about you most. Uh, what I love about you most is the fact that you're my friend, that you talk to me online about nothing at all. We do talk a lot about site stuff, but the fact that we can just talk with each other every single day um, and, and hop on you know, FaceTime and, and talk through things, I love that about you, and I greatly value your friendship. I greatly value the time that you've, you've poured into my life, that you've helped me think through things, tough things, tough decisions for the site, tough decisions for life. Uh, you know, should I walk off this job? Should I stay on the job? Those kind of questions. Uh, that means a lot to me. And the fact that you do this all while you have three kids all along the autistic spectrum, I'm like, wow, that's just amazing. Uh, two thumbs up uh, for you. Uh, thank you so much for your friendship. Thank you so much for your counsel. Thank you so much for your guidance. Um, and what you bring to the site is invaluable. James and Nick, I gotta talk about you guys together because uh, you guys are awesome together. Absolutely awesome together. Uh, what you guys bring to the site uh, in the form of dual impressions uh, and it is amazing, but the fact that we can all hop on Skype and just laugh and talk about life and get on Xbox Live and, and kill each other in games, that's so cool, and I can't wait to finally meet you guys face to face, really, hopefully, God willing, we can do the whole retreat thing in Colorado Springs next year, but thank you. Thank you so much for your counsel. Thank you for allowing me to call you guys on the phone and just say, hey, here's what I'm dealing with. Uh, what do you guys think? Can you help me think through this? Can you help me? Can you pray about this? To, to get uh, random text messages or emails saying, hey, I'm praying for you. I hadn't talked to you in a while. Kind of get Nancy. Let's, let's hook up and, and talk. That means a lot to me. That goes a long way. So, I uh, just wanted to thank you guys too, um, means a lot to me. There are plenty of people I could list, um, that's, that's the, the end of my physical list. Uh, I'm sure I've missed somebody, I've left family off the line because um, obviously that's family uh, and they know I love them and they know I cherish them for, for various reasons. But uh, thank you so much for, for listening. If you have a friend, let them know you appreciate them because it goes a long way. Again, when Tim called me, that, that still sticks to me, still floored me. And I think that friends need to hear, uh, hey, wait, stop, no, not just thank you. Really, I truly, madly, deeply appreciate what you bring to my life. I value you, thank you so much. Tell your friends, uh, they need to hear that. I'll talk to you later, bye.